The megalodon never went extinct and it never will. In July 2023, a marine biologist who graduated from Harvard made a discovery that has changed everything we previously thought about the megalodon being extinct. Roger Curtis was always fascinated with the megalodon growing up, but was sad that it had been gone for many years or so, at least he thought until he started doing some research. He quickly realized there was no known reason the megalodon was actually extinct, only speculations on how it might have gone extinct such as climate change or competition from animals such as the great white shark. People previously believed the megalodon like to hunt in warm, shallow waters. But this has recently been debunked by scientists. It is likely megalodons prefer deeper and cooler water where bigger whales and fish would thrive. That's when he was convinced he had a chance of finding it. He set sail on July 23rd off the coast of Maryland in a marine biology research vessel equipped with a small submersible. It took him three days until he reached the region of the ocean he believed most likely to have a megalodon. No submersible had ever explored this region of the ocean before, so he had no idea what to expect. He got in his submersible and descended five 500 feet. He was amazed with what he saw. It was a whole different world down there. There were huge fish and whales and sharks 15 feet in length. However, he still did not see any shark the size of the megalodon, so he decided to descend even further until he suddenly saw something below him, an outline of a huge creature that looked to be over 50 feet long. He was astonished with the size of this thing. He got closer and instantly recognized it to be the megalodon. He kept a safe enough distance as to not irritate it and quickly took out his camera and took pictures and videos. Once he made it back to shore, he tried to get on news stations such as CNN and MSNBC. However, they refused even after seeing the video footage.